She might be a freshman senator, but in her first term in office, AI quickly became a national voice, especially in the area of national security and defense. And while she knows it won't be easy to win re-election, no matter who her challenger is, she is showcasing her campaign around just being Kelly from New Hampshire. The years have gone by fast since Kelly Ayotte won a Senate seat with a solid victory over Paul Hodes in November of 2010. And now as she vies for another six years in the Senate, she insists that the fire is still there. I know I wake up every day with a sense of purpose to make a difference in Washington and really to bring New Hampshire common sense to Washington. And that's what everyone says. But in a city that many voters feel is broken and toxic, Ayotte can lay claim to being named one of the Senate's most bipartisan lawmakers. you got to work across the aisle if you want to get things done. And that's why I've done that, because if you want to get results, You've got to work with other people, find the common ground so that we can solve our problems. If she is fortunate enough to win a second term, she says her priorities will remain consistent. A promised charge against the national debt, a more business-friendly Washington, but above all, an emphasis on national security. That's always going to be a priority of mine because without security, you cannot have prosperity or freedom. And whether it's popular Governor Maggie Hassan or someone else, Ayat knows she'll face a tough Democratic challenge. Already, the Senate Majority PAC has started to wage its campaign, coloring Ayotte as a gone Washington politician influenced by special interests. When I look for solutions, I don't start in Washington. Meanwhile, her campaign has launched a video of its own, offering a more personal Granite State touch. But as the games now begin, she says the most important part of the Ayotte camp is at home. I still live in New Hampshire, but I work in Washington, and I'm balancing being a mother and serving the people of New Hampshire. And without that support from my family, there's no way I could do it. All right, while we may be in a presidential year, this is a U.S. Senate race that will be watched very closely on the national level for a variety of reasons. And White House hopefuls will also be watching her closely, knowing that an endorsement from AOD could be a big one in the first in the nation primary. Reporting live, Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.